Hi guys, welcome to Tech Gamer 180 video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to root a Samsung Galaxy S5. So what we are going to need first is to change a couple of settings and check a couple of settings on the actual device itself. And then we can actually get into the routing process. Just before I start, I do want to mention that me, nor Samsung nor Google are responsible for any damages you do to your phone and also this will void the warranty so do take it at your own risk. So oh, let's begin. So what we're going to do on the phone is go on to settings and basically go on to general if you've got the settings if you've got settings like this and basically go to the bottom and go to a bad device. Okay, and what we're looking for is a model number. This video is going to be for the SM G900F. What that means is this is an international phone, so I will be doing the route on using that model. I will put a link into the description with other various models. You will have to check for yourself and just basically look then list whether your device is routable. So once you've found out your model number and it everything matches, what you're then going to do is scroll down and look for build number. And what you're going to do is press that 10 times to unable, enable developer mode. I've already got it, so that's why I've got the message saying no need to do it. But once you've done that and it's enabled, what you're going to do is go back and now you'll see a new option called developer options. Then just click that and scroll down until you see USB debugging and make sure you tick that. You will get this message, just press OK. And once that's all done, you are ready to start the route. So, all you're going to do now is just turn off your device. Alright, so what we're going to do now is put the phone into download mode. How you do that is by holding the, sorry, the power button, volume down button and the home button all at once. So let's do that. And as you can see, it comes up with a warning. Nothing to worry about, you have not broke your phone. All you need to do is press the volume up. And now this will take you to the screen and now you are ready to jump over to the desktop. One thing I did forget to mention guys is do actually remember to plug the device into the computer by using the micro USB. Okay guys, so now I'm over on my desktop. As you can see, I've got this zip file here and it's called CF Auto Root. I will put the link to this and the other ones down below. So once you've downloaded your uh, correct CF root, all you're going to do is extract this. So I'm going to do it here. A few files, just you can delete that now, you do not need that. But as you can see it gives you a couple of files. But the only two files you need to concern yourselves about are tar.md5 because that is the actual flash and then the program olden which you am going to be using to flash the root onto your device so when you've got these uh, when you've got these files all on your desktop what you're going to do is just open up olden and when olden is open you'll see that you get a green status bar where the arrow is and basically this means your device is connected and you are ready to move on to the next bit if you don't see a green status bar, then try plugging it back in to see if it works. But as you can see, mine's working, mine's getting picked up. So what I'm going to do is go down to PDA. Then when you've pressed on the PDA button, you'll be looking for a file called the CF Auto Root .md5. Open that, and as you can see, it's just checking all through. It's checked it. Everything's fine with. And now you're um good to go so all you have to do is press start and now as you can see on the phone it is doing its job so I am just going to leave it And as you can see now, 
your phone should be rooted. I am just going to run a check on this in a second, but as on the desktop, you can actually just put in when you have received the green pass icon. So now we can close Odin and then we're going to move over to the phone to verify the route. Okay right, guys, as you can see, I've freezed a picture of basically a uh, route checker saying uh, that uh, congratulations this device has rooted. The reason why I've done that is my camera did actually shut off the battery, just died on my camera. Um, and basically lost the last bit of footage um, so I'm just gonna basically tell you guys what to do how to check your device is rooted so all you do is go onto the Play Store and basically search for an app called Root Checker Basic and download that and basically just run it and this will basically all this app will do is check that you have got root access and then basically Root Checker will say congratulations this device has root access so that is basically how to root your Samsung Galaxy S5. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and leave this video a like and comment if it worked for you. So you guys, thanks for watching. Bye. Yeah, tech gamer, tech gamer, unboxing reviews and an entertainer with tutorials and gameplay. He's a technological guy going all the way with frequent videos always coming out. Click that subscribe button to see what he is all about. Like the video, share it with your friends. Drop a comment below where you can vent what you love and what you want to see next time. So tune in every week for the next time. I hope to see you around. Thanks for watching. Tech gamer on the rise, never stopping.